Well, hello there, man cavers. Quick video. Out of curiosity, I want to know what is inside the old Jaguar EGR valve. Something electronic packed up on that. We put a new one on. So I'm going to, I've noticed that this unclips up. This outer casing seemed to unclip. Bearing in mind this is knackered. So we're going to bend these clips up and see if see if this cover will come off just to see if there's any electronics under there. Is there electronics under here? I do not have a clue. I'm assuming so. So let's just bend all these little tabs up. Ah, it's coming off, look. Now I think this will come off. There we go. But is that going to show anything? Alright, that's that off. No screws, is there? No. So will all this come off here? Whatever all this is. Will this all undo? Something's coming off, look. Wow. There's gears in there, look. Look at that. There's an electric motor, look. There's an electric motor and gears. There. So that's what's inside. Is this not a bit technical for an EGR valve? All gears in there, look. Oh, you see? These two prongs, what stick up here, they clearly engage in them two holes in there, look. See? There and there, there's two holes. That's clearly where these gears engage. There you go, so we can take that gear out, and that obviously goes in there. Look, there you go, that's in. This one obviously sits on the top here, like this. And that engages with the motor, look. It's all fell out. Let's see if we can manually work this to see what's going on. I'll get back in there. All right, that's back in. Let's turn it and see if that does anything this side. Well, we're turning it. There you go. That's all it does. It just moves that little bit. That is it. So there is what your EGR valve does. So in theory, oh, I spring loaded that, look. See that, that is spring loaded. There we go. So if we theoretically turn this, There you go, that's opening that, look. There you go, see, opening. And it springs shut. And opening. And springs shut. So I'm guessing what the problem was with this one. See how dirty the connections are in there. Look how dirty and burnt that connection looks. This one here, it's gone green, look. That's where your wiring plug goes on. Answer me this, there's five electrical wires in there, look, five. Five pins. And there is five wires on the socket, what plugs into it. Yet all they seem to do is go through to two. Unless there's some form of magic circuitry in here. Maybe under this cover there's some sort of circuit boards Oh, I don't know. That don't seem I want to break down any further. But there you go, that's what's inside. An EGR valve. 
the electric motor seems to turn all right. Be interesting to see if you put 12 volts on there if that electric motor runs. Because that's all that is here, look, an electric motor. There we go. I reckon if we undo these Torx bolts, this will all come off and release the motor. Do we even need to take them Torx bolts out? Oh, these are like bending up, look. I mean, this is buggered, so it was not working on my car, so I'm not worried about damaging it. That would just be interesting to see if this electric motor comes out of here. Because clearly the connections for are on the top. Yeah, that should come out over that. I don't know why I'm doing this. Just out of interest. There we go, we've got all the clips off there. There's just this one clip in here. Ah, all right, that's that one off. Now, will this all come off now? There we go. Do the motor lift out? No, I don't. Ah, two little screws on the back there. Look, two little tiny torques. And I think that motor will come out of there. All right, I seem to have found a little Torx head that will fit it in a little set. Ah, ah, there's the right size, look. And there we come. The last one I tried, look, actually fits and works. There we go. It's got that tiny little screw out of there. Will this one come undone? Yep. There we go. This one's out and all. There's our motor. There we go. Look at that. There's water in there, look. See that? water there has water somehow got in that EGR look 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 water yeah and I haven't washed this car and that certainly isn't diesel that's water so I reckon there's something gone wrong in that motor and that was what blew our fuse stop the car running so there we go that's what's inside an EGR valve shall we get it down even further let's see now we're this far shall we just undo these three here and see what's going on it'll be interesting won't it it will be interesting that's the size for them Will these come undone? Oh yes, look at that. So we're getting the EGR totally to bits, look. If you're wondering how much that new EGR valve was, it was £52 off of good old eBay. I think the brand was called A Premium. Yeah, I'm guessing it's just Chinese, but it did come with 12 month warranty and all the little boxes were ticked to sign it was certified and it met this degree and it met this code and all this business probably rubbish but look at how simple these are still doesn't answer why there's five five electrical wires going to it yet only two of them are used to move that motor backwards and forward so i'm guessing now this all fall to pieces 
Whoop, I didn't want the handle to come off my screwdriver, did I? Yeah, she's starting to split, look. There we go, that's off. So what's in there? Ah, there's a spring in there, look. Which winds the EGR. That should just push out of there now, I'm guessing. There's a spring in there. So if you're wondering what's inside an EGR, that goes here, look. And then that turns on that spring. And when you turn it, it undoes it, look. There we go. So for you Jaguar X-Type enthusiasts, if you want to know what a EGR valve does, there you go. And there's a little chamber in there where your exhaust gases go. Look, you can see that open up. You can see daylight in there. See that now? Closed daylight. Closed daylight. Closed daylight. There you go. That's it. So guys, this is what's inside an EGR valve. There we go. Just a little electric motor. The little shield. Which comes back on there like so. This comes back in here like so. When we can get it lined up. Twat, it goes this way, doesn't it? There you go. That's lined up. That gear drops in there. That one drops on there. Cover goes back on there. And there we have it. One EGR valve. There you go, back together. Hope you enjoy the video quick look at what's inside an EGR valve. Thanks for looking. Bye bye for now. Ah.